Good day everyone, my name is Joris Politica Buguas and I will be re reporting about geological exploration of an engineering site. Subsidence from known long wall workings. The near universal method of mining coal at the present day is by long wall workings in which the seam is extracted along continuous coal face. The roof is supported temporarily and later allowed to subside with only roadways left open. Access by an inclined roadways, or more commonly by a vertical shaft. Long wall mining is an underground method of excavating coal from tabular deposits as well as soft mineral deposits such as potash. Large rectangular blocks of coal are defined during the development stage of the mine are then extracted in a single continuous operation. Shaft. The principal means of access to an underground or body is vertically opening called a shaft. The shaft is excavated or sunk from the surface downward to a deep somewhat below the depo deepest planned mining horizon. In Scotland, shafts were normally rectangular with a wooden lining and may have been roofed over the rust iron rails. In England and Wales, they were nearly always circular with a brick lining. Collapse of the area where coal has been extracted produces subsidence at the surface. Within the area of Joe, subsidence is at different stages, and as a result, part of the surface is affected by tension and part by compressive stresses. Collapse behind the working phase underground produces differential vertical subsidence within the area of jaw at the surface and a general lowering of the ground surface above those older long wall mines where settlement is complete a rough guide is given by the formula for the surface subsidence as the percentage thickness of extracted s is the surface subsidence t is the thickness of the seam and d is the depth below surface in hundreds of feet or meters other factors include deep of the steam, method of stowage of waste, and nature of overlaying strata. The next topic is applied geophysical surveys. Geophysics is the study of the physical processes active within the earth and of the physical properties of the rocks forming it. From its steam applied, applied geophysics, a set of exploration methods used to infer the distribution of rocks underground from physical measurements made at the surface. The pull of gravity, which results from the simple horizontal density layers, is plotted as standard gravity value. The raising of a block of the denser 2.5 gram centimeter raised to negative 3 layer by upthrow along the Fault increase the value of G along the transverse. The greatest increase is on the upthrown side, and the most rapid change of gravity along the transverse occurs immediately above the fault. The difference between the second set of values, which include the effects of the anomalous mass and the standard value at any surface point, is called the gravity anomaly at that station. Topic is the seismic waves. The behavior of wear motions in rocks is dependent on the elastic properties of the rocks. The applied seismic methods are used to determine the distribution of elastic properties under a site as a step of interfering what rocks and structures are present. Elasticity is the reaction of given substance to stress, where the stress is not sufficiently large to deform it permanently. It is the strain produced by small stresses acting over a short period of time, which is reversible when the stress is removed. Young's modulus and the Poisson ratio are the pair most familiar to engineers. The two aspects of elasticity resist to change of volume and resistance to change of shape. However, most simply described by the coefficient of incompressibility. K and the coefficient of rigidity, share modulus, mean if F over A is the 
force per unit area. Then, K and mean are defined by the stress-strain equations. Uniform confining pressure F over A produces a decrease in volume change of velocity which is related to the coefficient of incompressibility of rock. A shearing stress F over A produces theta without accompanying change of volume. F over A is equal to K change of volume over volume, where a volume of the material V is reduced by change of volume under a confining pressure F over A without change of shape. F over A is equal to mean theta, where a rectangular block of a material is deformed through an angle theta by shearing stress F over A without change of volume. Thank you so much sir. This is all of my report and let's proceed for the next reporter.